because of the, the, the field of play is not, not that smooth. Mindirira with a chance to send Chikua through as Mvula comes out. It's not a convincing clearance, and the referee says there was an infringement there on Chikua by Time Mvula. And the Dynamos players go on to crowd the referee and some serious pushing and shoving there uh, between the two players well emotions getting high the situation getting all heated up here at Baba Fields Stadium well there is a danger that the referee may be losing grip of this game Did, was there any connect, connection there was there any contact there no suppose more the keeper went for the ball and he caught the ball so I think the Dallas players are justified and not to be happy with that call because from the replays there we can see that Mvula came out charging and cleared the ball. But nevertheless, the referee has got the final say. So the throwing that is being experienced from the Soweto end. Assistant referee Brighton Nika has also had to go into the field of play and now I'm wondering why would uh, the supporters that are seated uh, behind uh, the Dynamo's uh, goal then why would they be throwing missiles onto the field of play when it is a uh, Dynamo Highlanders who have got uh, the free kick well you will always be wondering about uh, the nature of uh, the football fan but at the moment, play has been stopped with all the match officials in the field of play and the Dynamo's players moving towards the center of the pitch. The Dynamo's players being led by their captain are moving that side to go and remove those missiles. The, it is in your pictures there, a lot of water, water bottles that have been thrown into the field of play, uh, Nomsa boys, Moyo. Uh, today is we are celebrating independence. These kind of things are unnecessary. Instead of us uniting as a, as a, as a country, as a family, it's uncalled for in football. It's uh, totally uncalled for, totally unnecessary. Football should be the winner at the end of the day. This game here, breaking to song, Masuru. Positions the ball with Nyawa still standing in front of that ball. <laughs> uh, quite a passionate player, uh, this uh, Shatrik Nyawa, but uh, he has to keep his emotions in check. No, uh, this game is, is tense, I tell you. Emotions they always arise. <laughs> As you can see, that Nyawa is still standing in front of that ball. He knows what he knows is capable of doing. So he's uh, trying to play some mind games there yes. on uh, the experienced uh, Novice Damasugu. As uh, the referee uh, says, uh, let's go. Here comes uh, Masugu. Passed away there by uh, Taimon Mvula. Well, uh, I think it was an easy one for Mvula yeah. to save because uh, it was uh, direct at him. That was an easy one to save as a goalkeeper. And it's a corner kick, which he quickly takes. It's back to Chibu Makanda. Into the box it comes, and Ariel Sivanda will easily collect that one. A chance for Highlanders to go on a quick break. Navaya goes on a run. What's it past Murira? It's still Navaya inside the box. Sets up Ngala, and that one is in. A standing Ngala for Highlanders. Good counter attacking move there from Washington. Navaya to set up Stanley Ngala. The dynamo is driven as you just that ball for, 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 a goal, for, a, for a corner or a throw in. Instead of him being a hero now, considered unnecessary. That was, I can say, that one is it's, 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 it's a bonus for the Islanders. As the supporters housed at the Mpilo and they show their anger at the Highlanders' goal by throwing in. Uh, some missiles. Uh, 
So I think they saying that maybe that ball did not cross the line, boys boy. <laughs> the ball did cross the line. It, 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 it bounced from the upright on the line. Well, it hit the upright and bounced inside uh, the goal mouth and then came back into the field of play. Uh, but uh, at the far side, assistant referee into the P. Even the ball boys also pitch there. I don't know what that boy is doing there because he's picking up uh, those water bottles. He is uh, making gestures there at the Dynamo's players. And we saw Evans Kadema and also Issa Sadiki on the tower line there uh, getting ready to warm up and be, uh, get in. For the ball boy, that one, that gesture is not allowed in football. Instead, he is inviting the Dynamo supporters to eat and they will be busy. They will start again throwing missiles inside the field of play. Instead of that ball boy to, to just move away from, from, from the Dynamo stand. And as you can see, the, the police are saying the youngster should be removed. And from his ungainly uh, walk there, I wonder if uh, that boy is of a sober mind there because uh, there really was no need for him to get onto the field of play and uh, start maybe engaging in a verbal uh, confrontation there with uh, the uh, Dynamo's uh, player Okatema. Uh, but uh, Peter Mudua will play this one back to his goalkeeper Arya Zibanda who dribbles uh, Katema. Much through! That was a dangerous, very dangerous day uh, play by Shadrach Nyawa and well commotion in the field of play and the referees the match officials having to work over time uh, to stop that fight that had broken out there and Nyawa the man with the high foot with the dangerous high foot in the thick of things there and even the police details having to get into the field of play to try and control things here you know sir I think for now that was a necessary kick. The boot was too high. And as for Islanders, player to retaliate again, it's, it's not allowed in football. Yes, so that was wrong also of uh, the players to try and take uh, the law into their own hands. Uh, but, uh, well, Nyawa, we have spoken about how he plays with so much emotion. There he is, they are uh, totally missing ball and hitting Nawaya on the head. Uh, quite a dangerous uh, kick there from Nyawa. He should have used his head instead of using his foot there. That was a karate or taekwondo kick there by Nyawa. And uh, the referee having a look at of a high foot there uh, from Shadrach Panache Nyawa. Mbongeni Mbola Masugu Mbongeni Mbola Njovu there is having to be restrained by the Highlanders officials maybe wants to go over and fight but uh, we do not encourage that in the game of football it happens in football at times you become emotional and that tackle it wasn't necessary for now this is why Mbongeni wants to go and fight big but as for Bongen, the sportsmanship in football, you just let it go, the referee will take the, 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 the rest of the game in charge. Yes, the referee Arnold Nube is the man in charge and we are waiting to find out how he is going to deal with this one. Because we are back to that situation that we saw in the first half where there was so much anger and the confrontation between the two sets of players and as a result The game nearly uh, degenerated into uh, something that uh, we do not like uh, seeing. So right now it's a red card uh, for Shatrek Panache Nyawa. And well, Nomsa boys, I don't think uh, the referee had any option there. He, the referee doesn't have an option besides giving him that red card. But uh, we did warn uh, this youngster that uh, he should uh, keep his emotions in check because uh, right from the onset you could see that uh, he was uh, uh, so emotional. He was uh, involved in so many shoving matches uh, with uh, the Highlanders uh, players and right now his team is trailing 
and they are now one man short. As you said in the first half, that Nyawa should pull down his timber. Sure. And the referee, Arnold Nube, has blown to signal the end of this Independence Cup final, the 2022 edition. Highlanders getting some form of revenge over Dynamos. After losing this one last year by two goals to nil, they have won.